Have you ever seen fecal sludge? It comes in many forms and consistencies and can always look different, like these real samples. It is the sludge that is collected in on-site sanitation systems, for example, pit latrines and septic tanks. Managing fecal sludge is different from traditional wastewater treatment. Wastewater in sewers is diluted with water and is homogenized as it goes to a treatment facility. As a result, its characteristics are relatively consistent and predictable. Fecal sludge needs to be collected and transported to a treatment facility and is highly variable. Typically, it consists of more than 90% water and because water is heavy and expensive to deal with, dewatering fecal sludge is an essential treatment step. Dewatering is the removal of water from a suspension and concentrates the solids. It reduces the volume and weight of fecal sludge. Drying beds are commonly used to dewater fecal sludge. However, they require a large amount of land, which is costly in urban areas, and they cannot be used where adequate land is not available. Improving the dewatering speed would increase the amount of sludge that can be treated on drying beds and reduce the land area needed. Conditioners can be used to speed up the dewatering process. In Dakar and Dar es Salaam, Sandek is conducting dewatering research with conditioners. Results show that chitosan could reduce sludge drying time by 20%. However, the fundamental mechanisms of fecal sludge dewatering performance and how fecal sludge characteristics influence the dewatering process are not yet fully understood. Because of this and because fecal sludge is so variable, we cannot reliably determine conditioner dosing. More research is needed to understand the principles of dewatering and to develop better dewatering methods. Why don't you just homogenize all sludge? Since sludge is so variable in its characteristics, what is delivered to treatment plants can vary tremendously, even on a day-to-day -day basis. One day, trucks could bring sludge that is 99% liquid, and the next day only 80%. Even if you would daily homogenize all the sludge in a big tank, there is still a high variability for treatment. Could the sludge simply be dewatered mechanically? Mechanical dewatering of fecal sludge is possible, but doing so efficiently would still require the use of conditioners. And these machines are also expensive and have not yet been fully adapted for fecal sludge. Commercial polymer conditioners and chitosan have been used to increase dewatering performance. In the future, with more research, specific conditioner dosages could be developed for different fecal sludge characteristics. Another technology that shows potential are geotubes. These are specially engineered bags that keep the solids in while the liquid seeps out. Geotubes dewater faster than drying beds, but also require the use of conditioners and are still in the research phase. More efficient dewatering could make fecal sludge management solutions significantly faster and cheaper. Each step of the fecal sludge management service chain can be improved by dewatering, transportation, treatment, and resource recovery. If you want to learn more about fecal sludge management, then watch our other videos via this link.